we are using our small ball and you're going to begin lying on your back, placing it under just the arch of one foot. It doesn't matter which one. And just take a deep breath in, pushing the arch of the foot down so that you activate the hamstring and the glute. Roll your collarbone back, abs engage, and then continue to push down and just do a simple bridge and you're going to hold it there, take a deep breath, and lower back down. Now expect that with the first few of these, your hamstrings may cramp up. That's totally normal. We're going to lift and keep pushing into the ball as you slowly lower back down. And again, push down first through the foot, then engage the abs. Push a little harder to lift the hips up, but rib cage should stay fairly connected into the mat as you do these, and you will lower back down. And we're just gonna keep doing those as a way to warm up that back, to warm up the hammies, and just get you going. So keep pushing into the ball both times, whether you're pushing down to lift up, you're pushing into the ball, and continue to push into it as you slowly lower back down. And again, push into the ball as you rise up, and push into the ball as you lower back down. And we do just a few more pushing to lift up and pushing to lower down. And just take deep breaths as you do these. Exhale to lift, roll your shoulders back. Inhale as you lower back down, keeping that connection. Make sure that your neck and your shoulders are not in tension at all. You just want to be nice and relaxed as you do these. This is all about that hamstring glute as you do this. And now we're going to stay lifted and just pulse the hips up. And just keep that connection of the foot into the ball. And it's probably going to start to burn pretty soon. We'll do eight more. Six, five, four, and three, and two and one and lower down and just pass it off to the other foot. Make that same connection or kick it out of the way. <laughs> that was a good one. All right, push down into the arch of the foot. Maintain the connection as you curl and lift your hips up into the bridge. Staying there, take a breath and very slowly lower your body back down. Inhale deeply, exhale, push into the ball to press those hips up. Shoulders are nice and relaxed, neck isn't gripping, check in with yourself, and slowly lower back down. Now another way to activate more of your body and your upper body is to reach through your arms and feel your triceps pushing down into the mat. Feel those arms, hands, everything making that connection. And then you're gonna work your arms as well as the whole hamstring glute, low belly, low back, and same thing applies on this side. You're pushing through the arch of your foot. Make sure you really find that connection. Stay there at the top. Keep pushing down as you lower back down. And we'll continue to do these. Just exhale as you lift, pushing down through your foot, holding it at the top, and then slowly feel that articulation from rib cage, middle back, low back. Every time, release to your neutral. Neutral is where you have your natural curve of your spine. Everyone's is different, so do what is yours, but make sure that you release fully and that you articulate fully. So push the foot, curl the pelvis, lift the hips up, stay there, then drop first rib cage, middle back waistband, and release, and we do three more times, curling and lifting, pushing down. Make sure that the stable support leg is tracking through big toe, and we have our last two, and final one, we're going to lift and stay lifted and we just pulse up and up. And just, again, trying to find the midline of the leg as you push down and just keep those hips lifting up. Push harder through those arms, roll your shoulders back, try to keep those hips high. We'll do eight more, six, You'll be feeling a lot of hamstring, 
two, and one. Slowly lower back down. Then we're gonna grab the ball, and what we're going to do is put it right here underneath your knee. The opposite leg is bent. You take a deep breath in. Actually, you know what? I am gonna switch because we just did that side. So now you're squeezing the ball. You're going to bridge with one leg, tap the ground, lift the ground, lower your spine. Lift, tap, lift, and lower. So again, single leg, unilateral work, just in case one side is stronger than the other. Gotta keep our body even, and we are going to try as best we can to really work the back side of our body. So you lift first, then you tap and lift and lower. Again, pressing the arms and pressing the legs. And I know that it's a lot to get started with your hamstrings doing this work, so you do the best you can. And you can see I'm not lifting terribly high on this side, so don't feel compelled to go too, too high. And we have a couple more because this really, really, really burns. And we have our last one here. Now what you're going to do is just shift up right away. Lift up, tap and lift, lower down. Lift up, tap and lift, lower down. So again, we are really getting that hamstring. Up, up, you'll also feel your triceps. And just keep pushing your chest up away from your fingers here. And you are going to pretty soon be barely able to feel that glute on that one side. So you are welcome for that. And we have a last one. And down. All right, lowering back down, switching the legs. So again, we start with the bridge. We tap and lift and we lower. Bridge your hips, tap and lift, and lower. And you just keep doing those. And on the side that's doing the actual bridge, pay attention to the inside of the leg through the big toe, and lower down. Also trying to remember to just stay nice and open through your collarbones so that your neck isn't doing the work. You definitely feel support in your rib cage here to take some of the pressure off your neck. So one way to check in with yourself, make sure you're not gripping your neck, is just as you lift, you could just make sure that your head can come up comfortably, although you don't necessarily need to. And same thing here, you've already fired up that hamstring doing that first round of the bridges, and this is just going to lock and load them in and really get them going. So I would like to do about three or four more of these. I don't know if you would like to, but I would like to. So that is what we are doing. And I feel like this should be a good pace for you. And we have one more time, up and down. Now right away you shift up, lift up, and then we just went down and up, tap and up. Or maybe I did that opposite, not so sure. Regardless, what's happening is you're going to feel the hell out of that one, hamstring and glute. And also, your triceps are starting to feel. If it's too much on your shoulders, just bend the elbows ever so slightly. Really push into that support leg. Last three, and two, and one, and ooh, lower down. Let's just give our hamstrings a little bit of a stretch here. Just shake them out for a second and just breathe through them. All right, now we'll take the ball and we are going to put it in our insteps here. And I'm going to just adjust a little bit. No, nope, I'm not going to because I don't want to give anyone a butt shot. 
All right, so now squeeze the ball as hard as you can. Take the legs a little further away from you and you're just opening into a little butterfly knee and close. Butterfly knee and close. So those insteps are squeezing that ball. And then if you want more of a challenge for your abs, you can curl your upper body up as you do this, or you just keep your head down the whole time. And head down is fine because you'll focus even more on your inner thighs as you do this. So make a choice, head up, head down. Remember, head up, you just really want to feel that breath through the back, through the rib cage, so you can stay lifted. And you can also take a look at your feet while you're squeezing. But otherwise, just lower your head down and just keep squeezing. And make sure that those heels are connecting into that ball. Your abdominal muscles are pulling in away. All right, now we're going to stay open. In that open leg position, you're going to lower your feet to the ground and squeeze the ball, lift back up, bring your knees in and open. Now, I'm demonstrating with the head down. And that is just to protect your neck if you can't curl up. And then I'm going to demonstrate same with the head up. So you want to tap, squeeze and lift, internal, external. And I'm keeping this long line in my spine here so that the lift is coming from my abs. It's not coming from my legs doing the work. It's all that transverse abdominal muscle and inner legs as I squeeze the ball and open down and up and really squeeze from here and open. And again, head can be down. You get the same effect. You're just trying to slow it down as you pull up, press your back into the mat. And you continue to do these and you'll start to really feel your inner thighs as you're doing this. That's what I expect. And just continue to do these. Yes, your hip flexors will start to kick in. That's completely normal. And your inner thighs will definitely be working. And again, completely normal. And again, I'll take my head down. You're just continuing to do these. And now bring your legs back in again and just squeeze the ball with your feet. We'll do 20, 19, 18. Just keep squeezing. And your legs now are parallel. And you're going to start to feel those inner thighs. So it's just as much the feet squeezing as a tiny pulse of the knees. And just continue. And it really is going to start to get those inner legs burning. Four more. And good. Now, extend your legs up as best you can. I know you did a lot for your hamstrings, so that can be a little bit of a challenge. And now what I want you to do is take your arms up to the sky, squeeze the ball, lower the legs away from you. Your arms are reaching back. They're not static on the ground. They have energy. And you're going to hold that there and squeeze as hard as you can. And then very slowly curl towards your legs. And then lower your head back down. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now, if you can't curl your head up, that's fine. You'll just go like this. Reach your arms to your legs. Otherwise, the movement is away. You're lengthening, you're squeezing as best you can. Straighten the legs, squeeze the ball, and then lift as they come in. Lower to go back down. Remember, whatever is good for your body, that's the version you are going to do. And you're gonna keep the same pace. You're gonna lower for five, four, three, two, one. Hold and lift. And up. Again, lower, five, four, three, two, one. You hold and squeeze and up. And now we'll go a little faster. We will go down and up, down and up, or your head can stay down. Keep squeezing the ball. That's the most important thing for you right now. That finding the inside line of the leg. Eight more. Seven, six, 
six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and grab the ball in your hands, bring your knees into your chest, take your arms open to the sides, just look over towards that ball, come back into the center, switch over the other way, back to the center again. Now we're going to put the ball in between your knees this time, taking a deep breath in. On the exhale, I want you to grab right here, squeeze your ball, lift and find your balance. Now squeeze as hard as you can, inhale, go back, exhale, up, squeeze, inhale, back, exhale, squeeze. Now sometimes holding on down here helps you come up. Um, you can challenge yourself and hold on to your shins and that will get you a little bit more, but you're squeezing the entire time. Inhale, exhale. We have five more. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. And squeeze. And you want to maintain that squeeze so that you really remind yourself inner thigh into your low belly. And last two. And last one, you sit up and stretch. I'm going to stretch back. You have your ball. Reach for your toes. Push the tops of your feet down. And then we're going to sit back up. You're going to curl your spine. Hold it there. Open the arms. Grab the ball. Open and grab. And grab. Now, if this hurts your back at all, you're welcome to bend the knee. You're welcome to sit up a little bit more or just curl back a tiny bit. You want to find the place where your abs are the most engaged. Where you're going to keep passing the ball a few more times. And we have one more set to each side. And then we stretch to our toes again. Just push your feet forward, hang over. And then you're gonna sit back up again. And this time what I want you to do is row. So this is just like if you were on the reformer and you're going to row. You're gonna open your arms past the ball, turn your wrists over, stretch, grab the ball behind your back, switch hands, and roll back up. Now we switch, you curl back, you pull in, open, turn the palms over, now, switch behind your back, reach for your toes, and roll back up. So, that might seem like a lot of choreography, but you'll get the hang of it. And up. So, we curl, open, wrist over, stretch, around, and up, and again. I don't remember which side I just went on, but that's okay. You just keep switching. You curl, you open, wrist over, press around and up. We'll do one more on each side. Around and up, last one. Wrist over, around and up. Great, now just put the ball behind your upper back and let your abs and your rib cage just get this nice yummy little stretch here. Taking some deep breaths in and out. Now you have options here. Option A is the ball is right underneath your bra line and your shoulder and you're just going to do very small curls. So my head is completely lifted. I'm not leading with my neck at all. It's all about my upper abs and my rib cage. Now, if that seems like it's way too much and you're only in your neck, what I want you to do is, I'm just gonna adjust a little bit. I want you to have this ball so that you're practically just sitting on it like this, and you're just going to curl little tiny curls or little tiny holds there so that you're mostly just sitting up. Otherwise, the ball is behind your back and you're not letting your neck fall back in space. Nothing in here is gripping. You are forward the whole time 
and just pushing back and back. And we're going to do 20 more of these. And other ways that you can not use your neck is you can just pull your body forward, your hands can be on the mat, do whatever you need to do. But we will be doing 20. So keep going, lifting your chest. This will make you feel the middle abs here. And continue. We just have a few more. We're going to go for eight, for seven, and six, five, four, and three, and two, and final one. Let's go ahead and stretch again, taking those deep breaths in and out. All right, good. Now, let's take our ball again, and this time, what we're going to do is lie on our sides, and the ball is going to go right here in between our ankles. Now the biggest challenge is not losing the ball, so you're just going to roll the ball, push into it, internally rotate your knee, externally rotate your knee, lower it back down. So it comes in, internal, external, and down. Now again, I keep saying this, my ball is small, so it's a little harder to control. A little bit bigger of a ball, one that might be a little bit more firm, should totally do the trick here. The key is that you're pushing down as hard as you can and not losing the connection of your foot into that ball. So you squeeze. Down, open, and out. And again, in squeeze, internal, external and out and just continue to do those. Squeeze it, let it drop in, let it open back up and extend and in. And like I said, these are tricky to not lose your ball. So just squeeze as hard as you can right here, that internal, external, that's just a nice variation on your clam. And just lengthen the leg, drag it in. Pull your lower abs in, so as that knee turns in, your lower oblique is activating. If this is, again, too much on the neck or the head, you can easily just drop your head down or take out a towel and just prop yourself up with that. But you have a few more times of just that internal, external. And then we're going to bring it in. Turn it in, turn it out. Now you're in this turned out position. We're gonna prop ourselves up with our elbow, lift your chest up, you slightly roll back on your butt cheeks and you're going to lift and lower, maintaining that position of the top leg turned out. And you'll start to feel that top external rotator a lot. Your arm can go here as well, wherever you feel most comfortable. Try not to let your head drop into your shoulder. Keep squeezing the ball. Now stay lifted. Turn the knee in, turn it out. In and out. Hardest part will be to not lose the ball. And just keep squeezing. That bottom leg is lifting. That top leg is working. And your top oblique. Four more, and three, and two, and one, and good. Take that ball, place it in front of you, and then what you're going to do is bring your knee so that it's pushing down into the ball. The bottom leg is flexed up, and we just lift that bottom leg, and we lower. Lift, and lower. So you're pushing this down, but you're pressing this hip back at the same time. And make sure that those inner thighs are kissing. And just keep lifting and lowering. Lift and hold it and lower. So make sure that there's that moment and then it goes down. Up and then down. And you're just gonna continue that same lift 
and lift. Reminding yourself, push down into the ball, stabilize the top hip. Now stay lifted and just pulse. Keep focus on the up. And keep going. Up and up. It's all about that push up while that top leg pushes down. And we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3, and 2, and whew, 1. All right, let's make life easy. We'll just swivel to the other side. So side B, you start with the ball squeezing here, and you just drag it to that passe. Turn the knee in, squeeze the ball, turn the leg out, squeeze it as you stretch. And again, you come up, squeeze, turn it in, turn it out, and stretch. And just keep throwing in, squeeze it out, and your only job here is to not lose the ball. Well, not your only job, but don't lose your ball. Use your abs, use your feet, use your inner thighs. And you may find that one side could be much easier than the other. Um, totally normal. You may be able to maintain the ball easier on this side than you did on the first side. You may lose the ball halfway in between this. You may have to adjust your ball. I'm gonna adjust my ball a little bit. It's all okay, whatever you need to do. But you make sure you squeeze it here. Internally rotate, squeeze. Externally rotate, squeeze, and away. So always squeezing and making that connection for your inside leg. And you're probably gonna to start to feel those inner legs pretty quickly since you've done a lot squeezing the ball. And I'm gonna do several more before we go into our lifts, making sure that I don't lose it, that I'm squeezing as hard as I can. All right, this will be my last one. I feel like that was more than enough. All right, now here is where you adjust if you need to. You're here, your arm can be here, here, wherever you want it. And we're just going to lift and lift and lift. So I gotta get that turn out. Squeeze. So remember, it's that up oblique, gazing straight ahead, wherever it's more comfortable for you. But squeeze the ball so that you get that inner thigh. And up, 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 up. And if it hurts your butt, just roll back onto the meteor part. Use your elbow a little bit more. Keep your gaze wherever you need to so that your neck isn't gripping. And okay, now lie down. Take the ball right in front of you. You're pressing it. I like to figure out where I'm more at a 90 degree angle. Push down and lift and lower. Lift and lower. And you're just going to continue to push down to lift up. You want to feel this hip, this top one, lengthening away from you as you do this. And keep reaching. The more you push down to stabilize, the more you can activate that inner leg. And again, you can completely Rest your head, prop your head. You do what is most comfortable for you, but you have to keep moving your legs. You can't stop. That is an absolute. And I'm flexing my foot and I'm really reaching it away. The more I reach it away, the more I can feel it connecting into my lower oblique as I do this. And now we're gonna lift and stay lifted and we pulse. And just keep pushing down to lift that leg up. And focus on the up, 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 and keep going. And you'll start to really feel these. Keep going. We're gonna do one more set of 10, seven, six, five, four, 
three, and two, and good. Whew. All right. Now, this becomes a little bit more challenging just because this is unstable. So I'm going to start with this leg closest to you. And my knee is on the ball. My foot is on, I have the foot on the floor. And all I'm going to do is just lift the back leg and tap it down. So you will start to feel your quad on the support side. And if this is too much on your wrists, you're welcome to go into this position here and let your head, neck, and shoulders be relaxed. Otherwise, spread your fingertips, lift your chest up, and just up and down. Up. And you want to focus on that stability in the side that's pushing down into the ball. Now I'm gonna lift it and keep it up and just pulse it, my foot's flexed. And just 10 more. Pushing up. Now keep that leg up, this is gonna be a challenge. I want you to tap and put your hand down. Tap and down, tap. This is going to be really tricky because your body is gonna to want to shift. And it will shift slightly, but keep trying to push the knee down into the ball. Up and up. Now, what you're gonna find when you do that is that pushing down is going to activate the crap out of your oblique. It might be a lot on your wrist, shake it out, do what you need to do. If before you go to the second side and you need to stretch, take a pause for a second and just sit back and forth on your wrist. It's really such a brief moment that you're supporting yourself that you know it will not cause negative impact. It's just not comfortable. All right, so that being said, set yourself up for side B. And again, my foot was just flexed. And I lifted and lowered. Lift. And like I said, if you need to, you can start the series here or here. Just keep lifting. And you'll feel, like I said, that support leg pushing into the ball. It's unstable, so your body will be wiggling around a little bit. And you keep lifting. And as you stay lifted, think about lengthening as you lift. Now we're going to lift and stay up there and just pulse. Keep pushing your chest up away from the heel of your hands. And just keep going. Let's do our last 10, 8, 6, 4, and good. Now try to lift up and just tap and tap. Really root through your knee into the ball. You'll feel your quads. You'll feel your abs and your arms. And whew, lots and lots of work. So let's go ahead and lower down and just put your hands on your ball Roll it back and we'll do some back extension. Lowering back down. And again, just extending. And down. And just whatever feels good for your shoulders and your back. We're gonna keep doing these. Up and down. And again, up and down. And last two, up and up. All right, now from here, just go into a little bit of a child's pose. You can rock side to side and let your head be heavy. 
Do whatever feels good to you. All right, I feel like that is more than enough of a rest. So now, let's take the ball over to one side and we're gonna just do some modified push-ups to begin. So you're going to drop down and push back up. So my tailbone is sticking back as I do this. Again, it is unstable. You may feel your wrists. And I want you just to think about staying wide in your back. Now we're gonna add the leg and you're going to drop and up. Let your head dive down towards the mat as your leg comes up and you're pushing into the ball. And I know that this is a lot of weight bearing, but you'll be fine. And if at any point you feel like you're getting it too much into the front of your shoulder, try to connect the shoulder down the back so you feel that stability from your back more so than your pecs coming forward. Last two. And one. Okay, good. Right away, switching sides. We just start by letting the chest drop and up. Now you can see I'm letting my butt go up, my chest go down. And you may feel your arms a little bit more on this side because you were just stabilizing. Just keep breathing, go wide. And if you can't lift your leg, don't lift your leg. If you just need to drop a little, drop a little. I'm good with either one. Taking your time breathing. Pushing away from the ball, let your head drop. Let your body dive down, push it back up. Dive down, push it back up. And let's do just a couple more. All right, we're almost there. Okay, you made it through that. Now, simple. Well, it's not so simple because the balance of this one is tricky. So I like to have the ball, um, it's under your armpit and it's kind of boob adjacent. So um, find, find your boob adjacent support side. And I'm dropping over and lifting up. Now the lift is coming from my rib cage. My neck is not twisted, I'm just nice and supported. Sometimes it feels better to do this if you feel like it's too much completely, you can just use your elbow for that support. Otherwise, we're going to drop to the floor and up. Drop to the floor and up. And sometimes it takes a few adjustments to find where is the best place where you can be challenged with the ball and not feel like you're gonna fall and get just a little bit of leverage. And just keep reaching this arm along the side, hold, and then drop. And reach it and hold it, and then we drop. We're gonna keep doing those reaches, and reach, and reach, and reach. Now, bring your elbow in, bring your ball between your knees, and we're just going to go right up into a side plank here, and just hold it, taking the arm up, squeezing the ball, and you just stay lifted and hold it there. Now, it may not feel like much right now because this is just a very modified plank. You're going to lower back down. You put the ball right back underneath you and you lift again. Just keep going. We're only doing 10. Almost there. This time, bring your hand underneath you. Put the ball at your ankles. Side plank up. Hold it there. Take the arm up. Squeeze it as hard as you can. Clamp for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, and three, and two, and one. Lower down, see, nothing terrible. You don't die from it, we are good. We're gonna go to the second side, so again, under boob, find your happy place. Make sure that you are supported here and you lift and lower. Lift and lower. Easy, easy. As long as the ball is in the right place, this is pretty good to just get right into that oblique. My knees are bent, they're not too far in front of me or too far behind me. And I just keep lifting, supporting my head as I need to. And just a couple more times. And good, okay, see, painless. Now, put the ball between your knees, elbow down, hand behind your head, up, whatever you wanna do. This is just a modified plank, it's nothing fancy. You're just breathing here. Now, push up away from that elbow, make sure that you're just lifting, squeezing the ball and just staying there, having a party while you're at it, and just, no big deal, if you do this all day long, it's modified, right? All right, now come down from that, get that ball right back into its place. We do 10 more of these. And you may wanna just check yourself, see if the ball needs to go a little lower. And I'm not counting, I'm assuming we're pretty close to those 10 that I said that we were gonna do. All right, now, go right to ball at the ankles, go right up into the next side plank and just clam. Pushing up away from that elbow, make sure your shoulder isn't collapsing, so you wanna feel the support through the side of your body. And last three, and two. And one, good. Okay, now let's take the ball. And I, again, I'm gonna turn this way. I just am um, adverse to doing some butt shots. So lift your hips up and place the ball under your sacrum. Again, checking that you have length in your neck. Bring your legs up one at a time. You're just gonna feel the sacrum heavy into the ball and you may be a little shaky. I am, it's more just finding your balance and finding what works. And then the body is just slowly gonna settle. And then you're going to lower your legs down, circle them open and around and up. All right, I'm taking mine higher. You find your happy, I'll find my happy. So it's right here where you're pinning your abs down into the ball for support and just feel a heaviness through your sacrum as the legs circle around. I'm not going so low that my low belly muscles are pooching up and outward. I'm just trying to feel supported so that as I open here, I can just let the back of my legs and my hips just sink in so I can indulge and enjoy that stretch. So right there, it's just letting it go into gravity and breathing. And I'm just going to do one more little circle around into gravity and then reverse, same thing here. It's gravity, then right there I'm working a little harder. Here I'm much more relaxed, opening it, and now I'm kind of putting it into load again where my weight is dropping into the ball. And it should feel good. We have just a couple more of these. And I always say that just so that you know that it'll be over in a pinch, just like Botox. And now, take one knee in, let the other leg drop down to the floor. If you need to keep your opposite hand by your side, that's totally fine. I don't want you to feel like you're gonna fall off the ball. And then we're gonna come up and switch, same thing. You can hold it, nice and easy, stretching through that hip flexor. We'll do a couple more of those, up and out, and up and out. And I just keep switching hands to support me so that I don't fall off the ball, and I don't wanna know that you fell off the ball, so don't write me and tell me that you did. I'd like to think that we've got this. 
and just a couple more. Up and out. Final ones. Up and out. And up and out. Now, take this just a little bit more. I want you to push down into the mat, legs towards you. Just lift your hips up and lower back into the ball. Bring your legs towards you, little hip lift up and back. So right here, pull the belly in, push through your hands and keep doing those push and down, push and down. Trying to relax your shoulders and your neck as you do this. And we have eight more, seven. You don't have to go too far, just a tiny lift. Three, and two. On one, grab that ball, bend your knees. Take it, just put it behind your head and neck, and this is just one final little neck stretch. I want you to feel like your chin is dropping back into the ball, and the back of your neck is lengthening, and you just stay there, breathing deeply in, and then let it relax. And again, push the back of your head, hold it there. Now let it relax. And you have three more times. Pushing back, remember you're just trying to get all of this length. Relax, and push, and relax. You have one final one, just feel the back of your head lengthening as you push into the ball. And now just take your head to the side, to the other side. Let everything just be really heavy in there. Back of the head, the neck, the shoulders, everything is relaxed. You remove the ball, stretch your arms over your head, stretch your legs in all position, and then squeeze, slowly roll up. Stretch to your toes, push your feet forward with the ball. Take a deep breath in and out. And you did it. Thank you.